Hello everyone, Dragonfly here at our highway farp that we built in our last video. This video is part two of a mission build we're doing, uh, a seed mission. And I'll leave a link to part one, which was the uh, building of this highway farp for those of you that might be interested in that. Let's go ahead and get into the mission editor. Escape, quit mission editor and that's what the FARP looks like on the mission editor several different units and in part one we go step by step on how to build that in part two we're going to be putting down our targets basically uh, an SA2 site some uh, SA8s and some uh, AAA up at Sanaki and we'll also be putting in an AI flight of uh, two Turkish uh, F-16s that we can call up to help us out if uh, need be on this mission. So I'm going to zoom out here a little bit and get up to uh, Sanaki, which is just right up here, and pick out where we want to put our SA-2 site. We'll start with that, and then I'll talk a little bit about uh, uh, its configuration and I'm also going to talk a little bit about templates because I'm actually going to use a template to put this SA2 site in. Okay and we're going to put it over here uh, in this uh, open area to the east of Sanaki. And as I said I'm going to use a template and it's a technique and this is uh, I, I know other people will do it differently but I usually put down one ground unit before I'm going to do a uh, template and in this case I'll put down uh, uh, let's call it uh, and the reason I'm doing this is to get this name correct for the template it's going to be called the Sanaki SA to site okay and it doesn't matter what unit I'm I'll, I'll go ahead and put down this uh, this radar and I'll just stick it right there okay now to put a template down I come over to this create and modify templates menu click on that left click and you see it's got two sections in it you can create a group from a template or you can create a new template and I'll show you how to do both as far as the create group from template, make sure that you're in the proper country and, the, and Russia is what we want. And we want an SA2 site. And I've, I've got a lot of different templates in here. You can get them off the, uh, the DCS uh, uh, forum or uh, making your own and then putting, uh, putting them in the uh, template file. And these are some of the ones that I've uh, made or gotten off of the uh, uh, the site. And the one we're going to use today is the SA2 SAM battery. So I'll click on that, SA2 SAM battery, and then I'll put it down where I want it. Boom. And you see a bunch of different vehicles popped in. Okay. So let's get off of the template. I'm going to select this one that I put in uh, just kind of as a placeholder and delete that. So I'll hit the delete button there. I'm going to go down here to the uh, template version, click on uh, this number one, that's the first vehicle, Sanaki SA2 Site 1, and you can see it's renamed the unit Sanaki SA2 Site 1-1, and then it sequentially names all of the uh, uh, units because of uh, me putting that uh, name in at the beginning. All right. So the only two um, units that I'm going to rename are the two that are going to be the targets for this mission. And the targets for this mission, and actually I should probably uh, show you that uh, in the mission briefing. I went ahead and created a mission briefing uh, to kind of give you an idea of what's going on in this mission. So let me look, let me click on this mission briefing. And the situation, well, let's go with the, uh, the uh, title of the sortie. It's called the Sanaki Air Base Siren Song Seed. The situation 
is uh, Red Forces have acquired electronic components to uh, modify an SA-2 site at Sanaki Koki Air Base for stealth detection. This site will severely threaten our intelligence gathering operations and therefore must be eliminated. The SA-2 site is protected from low altitude attack by three SA-8 geckos and two Shilka AAA vehicles. Contact Warhorse on channel 271 COM1 prior to takeoff for any last minute updates. Then I also just put in the TACAN just to remind myself what the TACAN channel was and Warhorse, uh, the Tactical Air Control Center is on frequency 271 for this mission. Now down in the objective sections for the blue task, I also put uh, this text, the modified SA-2 fan song, tracking radar, redesignated siren song, and the flat face search radar are your primary targets. Contact Warhorse on channel 271, COM1 prior to takeoff for any last minute updates. So that's that's the mission brief, kind of gives you an idea what we're going to do. We're going to fly up here to Sanaki and knock out this SA-2 site, the search radar and the tracking radar. So I want to rename the tracking radar. It, right now it's uh, got this name here. I'm just going to put uh, Sanaki SA-2 site uh, TR. And looking for the other radar, which is down here. And we'll make this one. This is the search radar, the flat face search, search radar. And we'll point it down south that way. And we'll call that one SR so for search radar. That way we can pick them out easier. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about this template. Um, this is a fairly realistic uh, configuration for an SA-2 site. Um, generally, well, an SA-2 site requires both a search radar to pick out targets and then a tracking radar, which actually guides the missile to the target. So the search radar, as I said, is usually off to the edge there, out of the kind of out of the way. In this case, it, it's over here on the uh, right side of this template. And as I said, it's called a flat face search radar. Okay, the tracking radar is generally in the middle of the launchers, and in this one is called a fan song tracking radar. That's the NATO designation for the SA-2 tracking radar. And generally, as I said, the, the launch, uh, the tells are configured five or six in a circle around the tracking radar. And in a uh, static site, there are actually roads running from the tracking radar to each of the launch vehicles and these uh, launch tells are actually in revetments and some of them actually even have a road that connects all the launch vehicles around them. So if you can kind of imagine what that looks like, kind of looks like a star and as a matter of fact that's the the name they give to this configuration is the uh, Soviet star or the red star. Okay and the rest of these vehicles are just support vehicles. But by knowing the configuration of this SA-2 site, you can kind of know where your targets are. Okay, So that's how the SA-2 is going to be set up. Now I want to show you how to make your own template. And we'll do that using the SA-8s. So the first thing you do is create uh, the configuration that you'd like. So let's go ahead and put uh, several ground units down. We'll call it a Sanaki, uh, well actually that's good, Sanaki SA-8 battery. And it's under air defense. The type will be, we'll start out with SA-8s. And I'll put that one down. And I'm going to make a template that has five vehicles. So one, two, three, four, five. And the last two are actually going to be uh, AAA gun dishes, uh, shulkas. So number five will be a shulka. And number four under the type will also be a uh, shulka. Zeus. All right. Now we're going to just uh, edit this configuration. 
just pull our remember if you move one they all move and we'll just say we're that we wanted a configuration something like that um, just for purpose illustration purposes so that's what we're going to make our template out of so we need to go into the template menu create and modify templates down to the create new template the selected group is the one that we have selected right now the Sanaki SA8 battery one and we're just going to call this um, AAA 3SA8 so 3SA8 oh, make that an 8 not a asterisk and we'll just call it that okay and we'll now all we have to do is save that template and it'll automatically go into our template folder save okay so let's come off the template I'm going to reselect this uh, group and delete them and then I'm going to put them down again to show you how the template works so we'll go back into the templates create group from template Russia is where is the uh, country that we're wanting and we're wanting that one that we just renamed AAA 3SA8 and there it is so we'll click on that left click and it puts down the template just like you uh, you had it uh, set up so let's come off of that now it doesn't mean you can't move these around if you want and we, we actually do want to move these around let's put uh, one of these shilkas over here the SA8s we're gonna well let's see we'll put one here now remember if we move the number one one actually let's put the number one one right there yeah, right there and we'll pull this one I don't know pull this one up over here and we'll put another SA8 there and the, these SA8s are more low altitude point defense and their objective is, is, with the uh, along with the AAA is to kind of protect this SA2 site so let's see yeah, that, that looks good enough okay um, and let's talk a little bit more about the SA2 the SA2 is a medium to high altitude uh, SAM primarily it's primarily designed for non-maneuvering targets um, it uh, let's back out when I'm working with SAMs I like to make sure that the detection area for the radars and the engagement rings for the uh, uh, missiles are up on the map okay so the yellow ones are the detection range of the radars and you can see the search radar the flat face is a pretty big detection range the smaller yellow rings are for the SA-8 Okay. and these even smaller ones are for the AAA the two uh, gun dishes okay now I'm going to come off of that one just to declutter a little bit on the detection areas and then we can talk a little bit about the uh, uh, engagement range the engagement range for an SA2 uh, if you measured that out would probably be about 22 to 25 miles okay for the SA8s, it's only about five miles. For the AAA, it's um, I think about a mile and a half to two miles. This green arrow or green uh, rings is actually the minimum range for the SA2. If you get inside that, uh, in DCS world, those uh, SA2s can't target you. Okay, and that's about. I think it's about three and a half to four miles okay so that just gives you a little bit more information on how the SA2 operates now the SA8 will protect that uh, inner green ring and uh, the lower altitude regime 
Okay, so those are our targets uh, for this mission. Now, as I said, I want to put in a, uh, a flight of two Turkish F-16s. So let's go over to our uh, Add or Modify Air Airplane Group menu, hit that. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to call these guys Domino Flight. Um, they're from Turkey. Because Turkey is actually right south of uh, Georgia. Um, they said I want them F-16s. And the skill, I am going to put them at rookie because even at rookie, these guys are going to be good and they're going to, you know, one, if you uh, uh, activate them, they're going to tear up this area. And uh, for the pilot, I'll just leave it as, at Domino Flight 1. And, uh, okay, let's see. Let's put the first airplane down, and I'm going to put it right at the edge of this engagement zone for the SA-2. Okay. And we'll call them Wolf Flight, and it'll be two of them. Make sure I got the other one in there. Yeah, there's two. So I said the rookies, Domino Flight 2 and Domino Flight 1. I call sign Wolf 1. And uh, Wolf One Two. Okay. Now, if we click on, uh, we're on route right now, so we can go ahead and put our uh, waypoints in for this flight. I'm gonna put one right here. One right here. One right here. And let's see. And then they'll head back out that way once they're out of gas. Okay, and these are actually seed is going to be their task. Okay, so we've got the route in where we want them to fly. They're pretty much going to fly right at that, those radars at uh, mid altitude, so they're going to get shot at. Let's get Wolf again. Now I guess uh, Wolf doesn't come up uh, as a seed name, so let's just call him Uzi. Okay, now we need to give them some weapons. So let's go to payload. Actually, well, that's, that's why, it's because it popped off of uh, there, the uh, type of uh, Aircraft. We wanted 16s. There we go. 16s, rookies, Domino Flight. Okay, now that all looks good. Now for a mission payload, uh, I'm going to pick one of these and uh, then modify it. So let's do this uh, this one, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay. Aim 120, Sidewinders. I'll let number one here have two arms, but I'm not going to let the other guy have two arms. He doesn't need all that gas, so I'm going to remove the payload. Don't need a targeting pod. Remove the payload. Got an ECM pod. I'll let him keep that. Harm targeting system. Okay. Let's get rid of this fuel tank. Okay. Another harm. Side one. Okay. That, sh that should be enough weapons for number one. And number two. Oh, well, let's see here. I'll start out with the same, but instead of harms, I'm just going to give him uh, 
Maverick D's. And the reason I'm doing this is because if I gave them all harms, they'd take out all the targets, and then you wouldn't have any fun at all. And another D. Get rid of the... Uh, I don't need a harm targeting system. I don't need a lightning pod. I don't need that extra gas. Okay, so now we have the payloads uh, for our two Turkish F-16s. Okay. Come off of that. Now, I don't want them just firing their harms immediately, so I'm going to come in to the flight and change out a, a little bit here on the advanced waypoints. I'm gonna change their rules of engagement just a little bit. I'm kind of kind of stacking the deck against them a little bit, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna add another action here at waypoint zero. And under set option, under the rules of engagement, I'm going to put them on weapons hold until they get to this first point. So they're going to they may have to do some juking and in uh, before they can fire their harms. Okay. So then waypoint one, I'll add and I'll give them weapons free after that. Set option. ROE. And weapons free. Okay, let me back up to weapon zero. And I'm going to move this one up as far as it'll let me move it. ROE equal weapons hold is number one. Okay. And on point one, I don't think it'll let me move this one up above the uh, primary task. Let's see. Okay, so that, so what should happen is they should fly to point one before they start attacking uh, anything that's uh, attacking them. Now, I'm also, I'm going to go ahead and make these as uh, late activation because we're going to use some triggers in the uh, next video to uh kind of when we want to activate them. If, if you don't do late activation, these F-16s would come immediately when you started the mission and basically go in and take out all those targets. And the way I envision flying the mission is we'll, we'll fly it probably solo until we get in trouble or whatever, and then we'll call the F-16s in. But I also want to make the uh, our targets as uh, late activation. So let's let's select each of those groups. Late activation. And late activation. Okay. Okay, so we've got our F-16s in, we've got our targets in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put our uh, waypoints for our Harrier in while, uh, while we were discussing things here. And I've zoomed in a little bit here so you can see, as far as the uh, topography of this area, we have a lot of terrain down here around our FARP. But if you go a little farther north, it's pretty flat in this river valley. And then if you go even a little farther north uh, above Sanaki, there's some more terrain up here. Terrain's your friend when you're doing seed. You get, you know, that's to me that's the, the primary thing you want to do is is get behind rocks and then the radar can't see you. And uh, so, as far as developing this mission and the waypoints, I would fly it like this. I, I, let me bring this number one out a little bit farther. Just 
and bring two along this terrain so that if we need to duck down we can yeah probably like about there and ideally I want to keep out outside of about five miles because that's about the range of the SA-8s and I want to and when I'm actually flying this so I'll be low because I want to keep out of the regime of the SA-2s um, so let's see let's add some more points so I'm going to basically uh, circle around the target area to try to get up to uh, this uh, terrain up above Sanaki, but I'm not going to put a point up there. I'm going to point point four as right here. That's the target area. That way I know the target area is around there. And let's see, I'll put point five. And it'll be down here around Kobaletti and and point six will be up here. Okay, so that's our route of flight for this mission. In general, you can do anything you want, but that's that's kind of gives that gives me an idea what I would do on this mission. Except, like I said, I'd go up here and hide behind these rocks and and go up and take pot shots. I'll show you when I actually uh, fly this. Okay, was there anything else I wanted to show you today? Uh, no, next mission, or next uh, video, uh, we'll be getting into the triggers. Uh, and uh, that, and using triggers, you can control the actions of the units that we've put in there to uh, activate them when we want them activated. And we'll do some other fun things in that, uh, in the trigger video also. Well, that should finish it up for today. Uh, thanks for uh, sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed it and learned a few things about uh, SAM configurations. And uh, hope to see you in uh, video three, and we'll talk triggers. Dragonfly out.